I also bought this at a different Ikea. I thought it was just pretty cute to have in the classroom. So this is just, just to make it look cute. There is no purpose in this. Hi everyone. I finally am ready to do the Ikea haul and show you everything I bought for the classroom. So this year I want to focus on Genius Hour and having a makerspace area in the classroom because I really got into design thinking as a Google certified innovator and for us to do a better job with our Google Innovator project, we had to learn the design thinking process and the design thinking mindset. So I really want to focus on that this school year. I did do a few things last school year and I'm gonna start right off with the design thinking mindset. With Makerspace, it's basically a space in your room or a room in the building in which students collaborate and they really make things. You can use advanced technology or you can use simple things like duct tape, cardboard, and very simple art material for a Makerspace. So I will develop that this year. I have some ideas in Pinterest, so you can check out my Pinterest boards. I will put the link below so you can check them out. Now, let me show you what I bought. Some of the things are unassembled, but I will try to include some photos for you to see how it can be used or what it looks like set up. So the first thing I bought is the Vuku wardrobe. It costs $12.99 at Ikea. Basically, they work with tent suppliers to develop it and make it sort of look like a tent. I attended a training in Pennsylvania and I got a great idea since I wanna use Flipgrid, which is an app and a website in which students can record themselves, can create videos responding to a question. And some students are quite shy. So having this wardrobe in the classroom is a place for them to kind of go inside and videotape themselves without other kids looking. So it's basically 90 second videos answering a question. So I thought it was really cool to have this in the classroom. I went inside at the Ikea store. I looked a little foolish. I will include the picture here. Basically it looks like this when you buy it and you have to assemble it. The measurement is 29 by 20 by 59 inches. Kids can fit in there comfortably. I sat in there. The second item I bought is the Gestalta artist figure. This is what it looks like. It's natural wood. Students can paint them. I think it's more to inspire in my makerspace area. I could even make it somewhat fun. I can have a student be in charge of the daily pose of this figure. The third thing I bought is the Brada laptop support and it looks like this. I bought two of them. So it's $4.99 each and it has rubber strips to keep the laptop in place to keep it from moving around and students can just put it on their lap in the class and just go to any area of their room with their laptop. I thought that's pretty cool. The next thing I bought is the Raskog utility cart and it's not assembled. I have it here in this heavy box. I will show you some pictures what it looks like. So basically they have three colors. I bought black. They have black, beige, and sort of like a reddish brown, which was very nice. And it has three shelves on there. And I do want to make it sort of into a makerspace cart. I will include some photos to show you what it looks like. The cart was $24.99 and I think it's a pretty good price. I did look at some reviews of the Michaels cart versus the Ikea and Target cart. And I thought the Ikea is the one that looks pretty sturdy. Yeah, it's pretty impressive for that price. You can't go wrong. Then I bought the Sunursta container they were 79 cents each and basically I will use them on the cart I mean there are many ways you can use it it has these little areas over here so I can hang them right off the cart so I have three different they're plastic it was 79 cents each I may go back and buy more because I thought of other ways I can use these containers you can spray paint it if you like if you don't want to leave it white which I just thought of that now as I am making this video I bought one more thing but this I bought at Walmart I don't know how well it will work in the classroom it is a magnetic curtain rod that adjust from 16 inches to 28 inches. So I don't know if it will last or how much weight it could hold up. I did read a little bit of negative reviews on it, but I thought it would be pretty cool with these containers. So basically you could put these containers on like this and hang them up. 
in the classroom, so I thought that's pretty cool. That magnetic curtain rod was about $5. I think I bought it for $7, but it might be on sale for $5.50 or so. I also bought this fake plant at Ikea. It doesn't have any purpose except to make the room look cute. So let me know what you think of my Ikea haul. Post a comment below and maybe there is another way I can use some of these items in the classroom. And let me know what you have bought at Ikea that I missed. See you next time.